We all knew at five. Me and him got called KKK, Nazi, and we just kept on getting bullied that whole day. Two students at a Metro Atlanta elementary school say they were singled out for what they did during the Pledge of Allegiance. And now a teacher at that very same school is apologizing for her comments regarding her refusal to stand during the national anthem. CBS 46's Natalie Rubino spoke to one of the 10 year olds and got her hands on a copy of two letters sent home to parents today. It is a story you will only see here on CBS 46. Dior's elementary school teacher has left parents angry and is now explaining her actions after controversial assignment regarding taking a knee during the national anthem. On Tuesday morning at Orr's Elementary School, 10 year old Jason Newberry did what he and his classmates do every other morning in homeroom. Nobody put their hand over their heart and said me and one other little boy and we said the Pledge of Allegiance. Then the name calling began. Me and him got called KKK, Nazi, and we just kept on getting bullied that whole day. It wasn't until his second period teacher showed them a news clip of NFL players kneeling that Jason realized the present controversy surrounding the flag. She made a her own poll um, on paper, passed it out to all her students to see what they thought was right or wrong about taking a knee. But it's not the assignment that has his parents upset. It's what the teacher told students before assigning the work. Teacher said that she'll never stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and that she, if she did stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, then it, she wouldn't really mean it. Newberry says she and her husband never discussed the NFL taking a knee protest with her 10 year old and adds it's not a teacher's job to press their beliefs on students. These are our kids. We should be able to instill our values in them, not her. A spokesperson for Griffin Spalding School District tells me the assignment was supposed to be a lesson on First Amendment rights, but wouldn't say if the teacher was disciplined for her comments. In a letter sent home to parents today, the teacher wrote, I apologize for expressing my views to my students. I recognize that while this was not a one sided lesson, the topic itself and the expression of my views were not appropriate. My intentions were well meaning. Newberry says she wants her son to feel included at school and wants the students who bullied him to be disciplined. Tomorrow, some parents plan to stand in unity with their children in front of the school's flagpole when the national anthem is said over the loudspeaker. In Spalding County, Natalie Rubino, CBS 46 News. Other news.